first roughly map out the basic shapes of the face. Use a reference picture if you like or you can just copy what I'm doing, whatever you want to do. Paint everywhere but the hollow areas with white. It need only be a thin layer, it doesn't have to be opaque at this point. Now fill in those hollow areas with a light grey face paint and also colour in the eye socket area with a slightly darker grey. If you've lost any definition along the way, you can fill that back in and then smudge these lines to soften them out a bit. Use black eyeshadow to colour the whole of your eyelids and then shade around the edges of your grey sections and also any deeper wrinkled areas. If at any point you feel that the shading has gone a little bit too dark, take some diluted white face paint, apply that sparingly and then tap over the top with your finger while it's still wet to soften it out. Allow to dry before you go back in with the eyeshadow to continue shading. Now take a very fine brush and some black face paint and define those wrinkles even more. Make lots of small wrinkles and make them quite close together. I would try and explain to you where the wrinkles need to go but they are pretty much all over the face, neck and chest. So just make sure they're going in the same direction as the shapes we've already applied. Continue the same technique down onto the neck and chest. Apply some dark grey markings around the eyes and the mouth. I'm not sure if they're actually holes in the skin or if they're just like white walker pigmentation <laughs> but they're darker than the rest of the skin so we'll just go with dark grey. 
try to make these rough patchy kind of shapes and not perfect circles. Keep assessing your work as you go and if a certain part of your design looks a little bit too dark or too light, correct it using the appropriate colour and then gently tap it out to soften the finish. Now the black wrinkles are dry, go over the same areas again with white to highlight those wrinkles. I'm really sorry about the pained facial expressions guys, I'm getting really bad skin sensitivity on my chest at the moment and it was kind of sore to touch it, um, but hey we all suffer for our art don't we? Again continue highlighting and darkening some areas down onto the chest as well. Add a final little bit of black shading just to increase the depth. And this is the look complete. If you like this video please like, comment and be sure to subscribe. I've got a lot more ideas to show you and I'll see you again soon. Bye!